Hey everyone, this is Jared over at Couch Quest Gaming. So, had a couple of minor technical issues. Uh, first off, I have no backup save because I've been having trouble trying to keep a backup save on this for some reason. Maybe it's just ineptitude on my part. Either way, I don't have a backup save, which hurts because I also ended up recording an hour of footage and I did not realize my mic was muted. So to remedy this situation, I'm going to do two things. First off, I'm gonna provide a quick little highlights reel of everything that happened in the last episode that was significant either to the plot or, you know, any, any new costumes or anything. It's basically just, you know, what a br brief breakdown of what happened. So that, and I'm also going to release the footage from the, you know, silent playthrough. I'm going to do some fun editing with it and hopefully it's entertaining for you guys. So without further ado, let's get into last time on Costume Quest. We were captured and our costumes taken, but we broke out. We found our costumes, but they're guarded by these ravens. We proceed to go to this fry guy and ask if we could borrow his fry costume that he used to lure customers, but we use it to lure the ravens into the barn. We then proceed to slam the door on them. <laughs> hey, we got our costumes back. Ah, costumes. And then we proceeded to run into this guy, Dorian, who is a mystic fortune teller and has been helping us the entire time from the shadows. Why? Because he is actually, dun dun dun, the secret lost twin sibling of Dorsilla. He wants to help us because he wants to stop his sister's evil plans, but he doesn't dare interfere himself because, well, he's kind of a coward. So he instead empowers a bunch of children with the ability to embody and empower themselves with the abilities of their Halloween costumes. You know what? I've heard more insane plots, so let's just go ahead and move on from this. We then encounter some Nerpugnians who have taken a bunch of children hostage and are shaking them down for candy at the top of a Ferris wheel. Truly, these creatures are monsters. Who would do that? Seriously, this is really messed up. Who does this? At any rate, we need to find a way up to the top of the Ferris wheel, so we proceed to look around the fairgrounds for a way to get up there. We eventually find this human cannonball act and we think, hey, we can use his cannon to reach the top of the Ferris wheel. But like a semi-responsible adult, he does not agree to this because he doesn't want any children harming themselves with his cannon. I mean, at least there's that, though he does admit by omission that he is neither licensed nor insured to perform this act. So, eh, yeah, take it for what you will. We decide that we need to use the uh, ninja skill, the ninja's stealth skill from the ninja costume in order to sneak past him so that we can use the cannon to get to the top of the ferris wheel. We beat the Repugnians and save the children, though probably not their candy. We then need to move on and find that door that won't open until we finish the trick-or-treating, though first we have to figure our way down. We did it! I'm glad we found a clever way to get down from the ferris wheel that was both plausible and practical. <laughs> Anyway, we do find the door, but as per usual, it will not let us through until we trick-or-treat every house and every tent that we can do so at in the carnival. So, once again, here we go, trick-or-treating. The main thing of this, which, you know, I gotta say, and I have, if I haven't already said it before, I like the idea of them using the random encounters as the trick-or-treat mechanic in this. Do you get a monster or do you get candy? Who knows? All we know is, we gotta do it. Along the way, we were... Uh, unlock two new costumes. First, we have the pumpkin costume, which I nicknamed the Pumpkin King, because why wouldn't I? As well as the vampire costume here. Then he looks stylish. We also trade in some more creepy treat cards for, you know, completing that side quest. And yeah, uh, don't call me brah, all right? We also find all of the trick or, or not the trick or treat, the hide and seek kids, which means we unlock the final candy bucket of the game, which increases our attack and our candy capacity. So yeah. Also, this kid was hiding out in the open. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't know if it was just a gimme or what. I don't know. We also found Sadie again and bought some new stamps, including the very awesome Rotten Egg stamp, which allows us to damage and stun. And that brings us back up to where we are now. So thank you for taking this little recap with me. Again, my apologies for the mistakes that were made and made this whole thing necessary. Let's move on with the story. Hello, everyone. We continue on with our journey. I ran into this guy who has some things to say. By the way, if you notice that some of the video settings have changed, this is another attempt to cut down on lag, so hopefully it does. Hey, you're the kids that are putting a wrench in Dorsilla's plans, right? A monster! I don't want to fight you. I want to help you. Dorsilla wants to live in our world, and we don't want her there. Why should we trust you? Because she's more cruel to us than Big Bones himself. 
She has imprisoned my friends and me in this corn maze. Please help us. Here, take this grubbin costume pattern. It will help you look like one of us so you can get past that guard. A new costume pattern, huh? Alrighty. There we go. Unicorn, we will finish that at some point. Alright, so we gotta figure a way. Eh. Doesn't look like it's helped with lag a whole lot, so let's just take a look around here. We'll just struggle through. My plan is to try to get this done today. Time to dish out some justice. Yeah, robot time. Well, this part plays to see, play, seems to play smoothly at least. All right. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's check out the healers. Fire magic attack. He increased his attack. And he has a shield. Okay. Boom. So I know the combat system isn't terribly intricate, but I do enjoy it. Sometimes I just want a simple RPG, you know? Let's just stun this guy. <laughs> he heals himself. Oh well. I have missiles. Crackle like a boom. Focus on the crow because I think that goblin's gonna get, or gob grubbin is gonna get taken out by a. Uh, fire, so... Vampire magic! Yep, there he goes. Ow! That hurt. Take this! Yay, we win. Coconuts and bolts. I think I saw that one before. Yeah. Seems like getting these little bits of candy are almost uh, utterly pointless, because it... I don't know. Corn maze. There's a little gap right here. Uh, I've tried to do everything I can about this uh, frame rate issue. So I apologize to anyone who just has issues watching things with a low frame rate. There we go. Let's see, let's free this guy. About time. Greaves, you humans are slow. Here, take this costume piece and go give Drusilla what for. Okay, we got a grubbin mask. So yeah, we're looking for grubbin masks. Ooh, another ramp. Do we want another fight? Yeah. Bonk. Time to show you the power of science. Because the girl dressed like a vampire, but anyway. Dun 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 dun. Hmm. Two explody dudes. They all have about the same hit points, so I guess I'll take out this guy. Aya! Let's 
stun that guy. Man, my main issue with time to hit turn-based RPGs is I always have to like itch my nose or something <laughs> whenever I'm waiting to respond. Uh, let's take out this dude. Kaboom! Oh, 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 so close. Uh, let's just take him out. Oh, wrong button. Ow. You know what? Just for that, missile. The grenadier has less HP, so we'll take him out. Bat my hair! <laughs> I want to drain your HP! Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha! Healing is good. Oh, oh, no. Ah. You know what? Sword you. Rotten egg. Stunned and gone. No, not quite. Fine. Eat some vampire magic. <laughs> Poor robot. Uh, blobbles and salmon rings. I would eat the salmon rings. I like salmon. There's a chest over here. Candy! So we're looking for more grubbin prisoners, I think. Alright, we'll just keep looking, I guess. There's one over here, so let's see how... Gotta love mazes! No way. <laughs> That's funny. You just break it. Okay, so how do we get there? I have. Dun 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 Figure you guys are getting probably tired of just me fighting after fight after fight after fight after fight. If I have to, I'll grind off screen to get any last you know end game items if that's the case, like stamps or something. Oh, the lag! Come on, come on! You can do it! You can do it! Yay! There, we got you. The graves, I was going crazy in here. Thanks for this. Here, take. Take this. Burlap sack. Cool. Whack. Alright, we have to figure out how to get to this guy. <laughs> Do -do -do. Use my ninja skills. I think we gotta go this way. Loop, like, all the way around. Because, of course, the game would make me do that. So, for anyone who hasn't seen this game before this playthrough, what do you think? You, would you want to try it? I mean, it's a nice, short little RPG. You know, if you liked uh, stuff like Paper Mario, Super Mario RPG, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, you know, the simpler, you know, like, easygoing RPGs, I guess you'd call it. I know I enjoy it. It's a great, relaxing play to me. Stealth. I am stealth. I think you're the last guy, right? I'm never going to eat another piece of corn again. Fortunately for me, there's no corn in Repugnia. Repugia. We've got dirty socks. And now we have a Repugian costume. Ah, monster! Dude, chill. It's just me in a costume. Alright, so... 
Whoa, weird. You kind of look like my mom now. All right, so where to now? There's a treasure chest over here. We should go check that out. I wonder, will the monsters attack me while wearing this? Doesn't look like it. Cool. I am stealth. More candy. Uh, the sooner I'm out of this labyrinth, the better. Yep, yeah, the monsters are just ignoring me. Sweet. Now you mentioned something about sneaking past a guard with this costume. Just gotta find the way in. This is a really cool Halloween tree, by the way. That's kind of awesome. So it's all rainy in this direction. <laughs> I wonder if this is the way forward. Well, we've been here. I will admit I am kind of lost. Labyrinths will do that. So, labyrinths and mazes in games, yay or nay? Me, it's kind of dependent on context, but generally I'm against labyrinths as a player. Now, if I'm like doing Dungeons and Dragons or, you know, coming up with a map for something, I don't mind putting a map that has a labyrinth in because it serves as good padding. So I understand why these are put in like this. Oh, this is the guy. Okay, well, let's go ahead and save our game. Yeah, the police are useless here. Alrighty. Um, hi, I captured those stupid kids. I'm going to take them to Dorsilla now. Wow, you did it. Wait a second. Something's not right about you. Why do you sound so funny? It's because I'm such a dumb monster that sometimes I don't really know how to work my voice that well. Oh, okay. Come in. <laughs> when you fail at deception, but they fail at sensing your motives. Do I need the robot? I might need the robot. Oh, the slag. Why? Yeah. Robot time. And for anyone who's curious, I don't think you can use the uh, Grubbin costume in combat. <laughs> we wonder where the sarcophagus is to jump between levels in this area. We made it, we're free and clear. Shh, you'll jinx it. Sorry, but come on, we need to celebrate the little things. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> I'll show you little just give me a second. Want us to come over there? No, you stay there and await your... Uh, here we are. Doom! <laughs> this guy again. Here we go. I don't think we can stun him. We couldn't stun him last time, so... Boom! And boom! Let's see... I mean, we'll try it, but I don't think he can be stunned. Pathetic, dozerless humans, you can't do that to me! Can't stun you. Where did he get a new dozer? Is my question. How about a little fire? There, we can now click him with dots. At me the signal that he's gonna do a bulldozer attack, so I'll wait on that guardian shield. I'll go ahead and use bat in my hair, though. 
I could use a little top off. Fly, my birdies! Ooh, goody, a counterattack. Oh, we only fight the dozer this time. Okay. That was somewhat anticlimactic. Oh, lag. <gasps> Sarcophagus! Sarcophagi. I think this is the final approach, actually, to the end boss of the game. Well, let's go back to the mall. Really quick, because I missed a piece of the unicorn costume. We're only 16 minutes in. Awesome. That was kind of trippy. And convenient. The Republicans must have put these here to get around quickly. I think they'd smell more. Alright, in we get. Hello, my dudes. I need... A Wait, no, I'm going the right way. I'm going the right way. Okay, so there is apparently a lone escalator going up that has the final piece. Just gotta find it real quick. Glad I have the robot. Yay, robot for dashing. Yeah, there's like a lone escalator going up that is connected to the rest of the escalator system. You're not hiding, are you? No, you're just the one who says, hey, my mom's hair actually looks like this. That was just up here, right? Yeah. But we don't want these stairs. There's a lone set of stairs, apparently, that has the last piece. We're looking for it. Might not be on this floor, though. I could be insane. Ah, we're pugging. Excuse me. Pardon me. Maybe if I can spot it from here. Is this it? Yes! We now have the unicorn costume! Keep you. We're gonna switch you to ninja. You are now the unicorn, and you stay the vampire. Congratulations, Everett! You are now a pretty, pretty unicorn. Down we go. Actually, probably want to go up this way. Come on, up you go. There you go, 3D collision, gotta love it. Da, 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 da. Shoop, shoop, shoop. Away we go. I'm gonna hop on one more time. Okay, maybe one more time after this. Hi, how's everyone doing? There we go. Back to the sarcophagi. Back to Fall Valley, please. Now that I have my unicorn costume. Now, the unicorn, as far as I see it, is kind of a direct upgrade to the knight. Wrong costume. Tell me this leads back to town. Got 
get some candy. Cool, it does lead back to town. Awesome. So now I can check to see... One, I can go buy new stamps. Hi, Sadie. A yodeling black window and two-ply toilet paper. Can't really use either of those. Let's see the other creepy treats. Did I get both creepy treats, kids? I'm going to find out. Quests. For apples. Yeah, I guess I got most of the creepy tree cards. I guess gotta fight monsters for the last of them. Alright, well, if that's all, then I guess we'll run back through and start moving towards the end of the game here. Didn't realize we had so little left in the game. I would have just tagged this off. Well, actually, I would have tagged it onto the episode that had no noise. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's okay. I won't make you guys sit and watch me do a bunch of side stuff. Like fighting all the monsters for the last creepy treat cards and stuff like that. Collect the candy. Candy, candy, candy. And here we are. First, we have to beat Dorsilla, so. Trick or treat. Oh, sweet. Such nice costumes. Let me see if I have any candy for you, nice children. Oh. Here's a nice big piece here. The only problem is I don't think it wants to go with you. In fact, in fact, this candy's never wants to see you again. Dorsilla's taking me somewhere far away where I'll be appreciated. Listen, I was totally being a jerk when I said that thing, and before that I was also pretty jerky. But we have to stick together. Oh, don't worry. You're all coming with us. We're going to step through that magic portal to a world where I will be treated as a queen. Interesting. Will we all be in positions of royalty on the other side? And we'll rule for a thousand years, but when we come back only ten minutes have passed? What? No! <laughs> you will be dressed up as candy, tossed in a snack sack, and handed over to Big Bones to satisfy his hunger. What he does with you, frankly, is none of my concern. We're not coming with you. My brother's not coming with you. And no one is touching our costumes. Well then. So much for treats. Oh, I forgot to switch the stamps. Ah, no. I'm adjusting in my chair. Hold on. Ooh, Dorsilla's combat sprite looks creepy. All right, here we go. Wham! <laughs> my pretty panacea. Panacea. I can never pronounce that word correctly. My pretty healing. Let's see if we can stun her. Observation. Subject appears to be unstunnable, but it does seem to distract her. Oh no, which one's the real witch? You gotta do something to distract her. Oh, I was not paying attention. The egg helps. Annoying children, you made me lose my train of thought. We'll actually block this time. Oh, my poor vampire. Oh no. Missile barrage. But that's why we have the unicorn with us. My pretty Pensia. 
the only character costume with a res. I'm back. I'm back. Hmm, should probably say there's a bat in my hair. And vampire magic. Alright. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Anyone else get tired of the whole duplicate slash mirage thing that RPG bosses sometimes, or any boss for that matter? It always annoys me. I'm just going for the one in the middle. Let's go ahead and do that in my hair. Yeah! Oh, not, not, I didn't do it in time. Oh, no. Counter-attack. He's a lot of HP. Basic attack. Aha! This might be the first fight I actually lose. <laughs> Missile Barrage! Progress, honestly. Oh, oh no. That was close. Come on. There's a bat in my hair. And he's coming for your blood. <laughs> Charging up again. Ah, wrong button. Fuck. Fuck. How about a rotten egg? Ah, annoying children, you made me lose my train of thought. Lost Lucy again. Missile barrage. Ah! My pretty Pensia. Come back, Lucy. You're a primary healer. We got this. There's a bat in my hair. Well, we healed Everett a little bit. Just whittle him away. Magic. Ah, ow. Counter attack. 
going down. Ow. Firing next salvo, boom! Alright, um, pretty Pansia ourselves. I gotta say, I like this unicorn. It's I, I, I like his character design. Actually, none, I don't wouldn't say any of the character designs in this game are bad, even. Uh, basic attack. Aha! And out. Oh, yeah, take this. Yeah, and we lost the vampire. But I think we won, so. We got a new item, a bat card. And we leveled up, which means Sadie. Oh, Dorsilla, he just wanted to leave this horrible world. Why won't it let you go? Are you too beautiful? Oh, please. No one understands me here. Sniff. Uh, battle stamps, what do we get? Large HP recovery every turn. Hmm, neat. All right, so the rotten egg isn't going to do us any good. So let's swap out that for the poison effect on Lucy. Hmm, <laughs> excuse me. Uh. Um, hmm. Let's see. I think we're gonna go check see if Sadie has some new snap stamps now that we've leveled up. I like having the wheelies, you know, assuming I go the right direction and use them correctly. There's is candy, 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 candy. Let's see. That's right. We need the knight costume really quick. <laughs> And in we go. Switch back to the robot. For expediency. Hey, Sadie. I leveled up. Got any new stamps for me? Bowl of bloodshot eyeballs. Greatly increased critical strike damage. Vegetarian, which lethal poison applies a powerful damage over effect. Yes. We will get that. And we will apply that to Lucy. Do we have to level up to get the rest, or... I mean, I could just buy two of them. Assuming I wanted to go grind. Which I don't. I feel like we've kind of lost enough time on this. <laughs> you know? Alright, let's go back up to the boss area. Because the absolute final boss of the game is yet to happen. That was just a warm-up. We defeated Dorsilla, but then she calls in the entity she's pledged herself to. The aforementioned Big Bones. So I'm actually going to switch to the pumpkin costume for this. Because the pumpkin costume's ability to cut creatures' HP in half is nice. But at the same time, I kind of need the ninja. Ugh. Let's try it with the ninja. Worst comes to worst, I'll lose. Where's my brother? Don't bother me right now unless you want an even bigger fight on your hands. Sounds good to me. We're ready for a fight. Agreed. The possibility exists, however, that we could be more ready. I'm not leaving here without my brother. Bother me one more time and you'll have a fight on your hands. And in word, big. I'm not leaving here without my brother. Alright, here we go. Opted for the ninja costume because that has the defensive ability. Oh, this is embarrassing. What, the failure of all your hopes and dreams? <laughs> Ouch. No, having to call for backup. I summon the voracious, the insatiable, cadaverous Big Bones. And here he is. Big old tubby reaper. Which if you look, he's got Hawaiian print on his robes, which I think is amazing. Is it candy time? 
Sorry, boss. Uh, uh, those kids took your candy. What? Um. Beep. Message forwarded. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. Dorian gave us a speaker. That was in the last episode. And that speaker Dorian gave you. Dorian, it's me, Dorsilla. Listen, you don't have to worry about me. I'm only hanging out with these idiot monsters long enough to trick them into taking to Repugia. Once I'm in, I'll easily use my powers to get rid of Big Bones, that big tub of goo. Then I'll be ruler of Repugia, not Big Bones, that big fat loser. Beep. That's inadmissible. <laughs> tub of goo? I'll turn you into a tub of goo. You will never set foot in Repugia. Never! You can't do that. We had a deal. Get out of my sight. The deal's off. Oh, sadness. I almost don't have the energy to eat these children now. Almost. Oh, dear. Oh, by the way, have fun doing that, jerk. We get some sort of boost? Some supercharge? Fine, I'll just work up more of an appetite this way. Kids, have no fear. You like it in my stomach. It smells great in there. I just ate a bunch of bacon. Smack. Smack. There he is, the big boss himself. I kind of wish we had gotten some more epic battle music for this, but... Eh, I'll take what I can get. Oh, is he poisoned? Yeah. Oh no. Counter attack! Oh. Basic attack? Okay. Like I said, I might die. The setup can might the setup kinda matters here. Oh no. It hits all of us. I think one of those is a primary target, and the rest just gets splash damage. So if the unicorn only gets splash damage, I doubt he's going to get a counterattack off. Right now, our goal is to bring him down, and he'll have a second phase because they always have a second phase. Bat my hair. Use the vampire's magic to keep us topped off. Second phase. Uh -huh. He's stacking that poison on him. Anything else left under this? Oh, oh, he did bring help. Oh, but he eats. Them. Ow. Go ahead and use the Pencia on the vampire. There we go. Keep hitting him with that poison. Should be shifting over at any point now. Let's go ahead and top off with a bat. That's in my head. Ah! Yeah. Maybe the second pace doesn't hit until he's low on health. Here it is. Time for a pick me up. Yes, his his scythe is a giant pixie stick. That's what Super Papa likes. Ow! Tsune shroud on the vampire. Uh, 
Um, let's also heal the vampire. <laughs> Here we go. Oh yeah, there's this weird thing with the audio in this part of the fight. Well, it looks like I'll be ready the ninja. Next time I get a build up. There's a bat in my hair! Ah! Anything left under this roll? Oh no. We don't get to dodge that. Yeah, there's, there's some weird audio things going on with this fight. Oh no. Vampire, vampire, come back. Aha, I'm back. I'm back, baby. Suck on poison. Ow. Counter attack. Almost got him. We almost got him. There's a fat in my hair. Ha! Oh, did we get him? Yeah, we did it. Yeah. I mean, the ninja's down for the count, but we did it. Come and get it! We return all the stolen candy. Hey, save some for us! Alright, we'll just drop some candy at the mall, then straight back to Auburn Pines. It shall be so. Hey guys, can we make a pack? Can we promise to do this every Halloween? Yes! Yes! No! <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I love this. Cool, and it times out just right. We could get through the ending cutscenes, and it's a nice finisher episode here. Candy Crisis. Oh, Lucy and Everett, I called both your parents. They both said it's fine if you stay over. I wonder if they're as happy as I am that our kids are making friends tonight. Mom! 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 <laughs> Dad tax. <laughs> Just grabs it like a handful. Good night, kids. <laughs> Such a wholesome little ending here. All right, let's get back to business. I pick caramel. Good move. I pick sour snails. Ew. I pick black licorice. You calling me ew? I love black licorice. My wife does too. You can have mine, sis. If you give me your package of astronaut flan, it's a deal, bro. Oh, everyone getting along. I'll take the white chocolate knuckles. You can't pick on the same turn that you swap. Yes, you can. <laughs> Look, I know things are different in your old town, but I'm taking prickly pucks. It was my turn. <laughs> you can't wait forever. Can't wait forever, babe. Did you just call me babe? <laughs> uh, oh, I love this game so much. So yeah, that was Costume Quest. Now, it has an expansion. Oh, jeez. All the Halloween costumes in the development staff when they were kids. Awesome. Very awesome. Yeah, it's got an expansion pack and a sequel. So I might get to those at some point. But for now, we're just going to call it good here at the first game. I, I had a blast revisiting this game. Sorry for the technical difficulties there towards the middle end-ish area. But hey, we had fun. I had fun. I hope, I sincerely hope that you had a great time. I hope you're having a good day as well. And hey, 
Happy Halloween! <laughs>